Is there a role for upperclassmen at this point? Now that you guys are going into teams that don't have the name and doesn't have the, with the exception of the Brooklyn game for the next month, you guys are going to have a bunch of teams that maybe aren't on your level talent-wise. Do you do stuff with the younger guys to keep them focused a little bit on the challenge? Um, our young guys are doing a very good job of just staying in the moment right now, and and they just want to get better each and every day. We're looking at each opponent as as the best team out there, and we're just going to try to give our best each and every game and prepare the same way we've been pre preparing for each and every game before this. So just going to go out there and have fun, and just, um, just you know, preparation is key, so we're just going to keep that in mind. What's been the problem at the end of the last two games? Uh, two teams have come, kind of come back and got right back in the game on you after you had comfortable leads. What's been the biggest issue there? Just, um, just trying to finish um, the games out um, the way we should. We, we haven't been really um, focused out there. To me and my eyes, um, I think we just, and that you know, that just comes with um practice. You know, we just gotta get more practice, get more reps in um, situations where we're up by a lot or up by a certain amount of points where we could um just, just um give the get give us the game right away. So um, we just gotta keep on doing a better job of just um just going out there and playing our hardest each and every possession, and not um giving up easy layups or giving up easy transition points. Is there a responsibility for you as an upperclassman to say some stuff in those kind of final minutes to keep the team on track? Definitely. I, I definitely feel that way. And um, not only myself, Corey Person, Matt Bogers, Blake McClimans, they all do a great job of just um, making sure that where our minds are during the game and just um, trying to make sure that, you know, you know, we just got to go out there, play our hardest, and don't let the um, team come back and try to have a chance to win because, you know, it's a long game, you know, four or five minutes to go in the game, you're up by 15, 10 points. That could that could just make you or break you. So um, any team is capable of coming back on you, so you just got to keep on doing the best you can at that at that point of the game. How much of it falls on you and you and Trey maybe to uh, go put a team away if you guys got them down 10 or 11? To, you know, you guys are the guys with the ball in your hand a lot to really go put the game away. Um, I, I really feel that I feel that we're, we're a complete team, and um, – <laughs> We have complete players out there that can make certain amount of plays, and you know they just know their roles. So, you know, Nick Stouts can handle the ball, Glenn Robinson can handle the ball, myself, Trey Burke, in those situations. So, I mean, it just comes down to um, just execution.